Hello, beautiful people of the interwebs, aka and babies, aka my subscribers, aka my viewers that I love. Okay, so this video though, let's just start to the basics, to the beginning where it all went down. I used to be my space obsessed. Y'all know we went through a phase where my space was the jam. I mean, the minute my friend showed me it, I was like, okay girl, I was like either 7th or 8th grade, can't remember, that was before like cell phones were even cool, like I had to use her like camera, like actual camera to take like selfies, if you will, and post them on to good old Facebook. I mean, MySpace, see where I'm already at, like Facebook is now, MySpace was then, get with the program girl. Okay, so I still remember my first MySpace photo, it was... It was actually quite cute you know the whole angle where you're like this it was like that I was wearing my PE t-shirt though but I don't think anyone noticed thank god my makeup was on fleek so everything looked good I uploaded it I became so obsessed like I feel like I went to her house just to be on her computer because I did not have a computer at the time OMG so flash forward I want to say a couple of years I finally was able to go on from my phone, I would go on from my school, I'd go on from the library, just anywhere possible I would be going on. I would add everybody, whether I knew them, whether I didn't, whether they were old, freaking young, I just added everybody. Like, I thought that was the thing to do because it seemed like it was. I don't know about you guys, but it was for where I was. And then I started getting tons of friend requests and I had about 80,000 people on my MySpace friends list. Not exaggerating, not joking. You can try to search me now, but it only says 8,000. I don't know why. It doesn't even show like half of the pictures I had on there of me. Don't know. It has completely changed, but anyways. When I turned 18 is when I left my final foster home. I actually moved to Oklahoma from California to live with my parents my parents my mom actually and my aunt and this whole thing happened where I didn't live with my aunt anymore I moved in with my grandma why am I saying my last story anyways my grandma had a laptop a computer whatever and I was like yes yes my space even when I was 18 my space was a thing I am 25 right now <laughs> if you guys are wondering and I was going through a really hard time that is when my anxiety started and this whole thing I was just really I was going through a lot I was almost homeless I had anxiety attacks on a day-to-day -day basis I didn't understand them every day I thought I was dying I was alone <sighs> that is a whole other story so finding someone online to talk to and to confide in was honestly the best thing for me and I did her name was Shanae she was straight don't worry there was no love affair <laughs> um but she was beautiful. I don't know if she added me or I added her. I have no idea. But she was like that girl that everyone wanted to be. She had the home. She had the boyfriend. She had the look. She had the personality. Honestly, looking at her, you're like shocked that she was such a sweet person. And her name was Shanae Kingston, actually. Um... But she sent me a comment because I was one of those people who I never talked to people via messages on MySpace. It was always comments. So I had like literally, I want to say 500,000 comments on my MySpace. Because whenever someone would send me a comment, I always replied to them. And there was actually this time where I got really bored. And everyone that was online on MySpace, I sent them a comment saying, hey. So eventually I was talking to literally like 300 people at once via comments. I was obsessed. You guys can like make fun of me about it. I don't care. It was a thing in the past. And Shanae happened to be one of the ones. Um, so when she sent me hey, I replied to her. She was also a commenter. We really loved comments on her page. So we started talking, blah, blah. And then um, eventually we exchanged cell phone numbers so we could text each other and literally she was so awesome like she was the sweetest thing in the world like when I felt down I would always talk to her and she told me about her problems and her issues and her life and like we just like became literally cyber best friends in like a split second I knew her for 
I want to say it was probably a good three months and um, we talked every day every single day and then the third month I realized that her number wasn't even a real number and I was like I honestly didn't think anything of it um, I did end up saying something to her and she's like oh actually I have to text you from my iPod because I don't have a phone and I thought that was really weird because some of the things that she exchanged to me was like her dad was super rich and she had like this beautiful huge house like I'm talking like spiral staircase like mansion hashtag like chandelier hanging like in the doorway like that is what her house was and she explained to me before too like she had like an awesome car she was like I was 18 and she was 16 17 I think and she had like an awesome car she said that um, she didn't have a job because her dad said that she didn't have to have a job and like her allowance was she said was like 3,000 a month I was like girl girl let's meet like how you doing like get on a plane let's become friends shopping spree and no totally joking but I was like wow that's cool you know honestly at the time I was oblivious I was just really happy to have this person because she helped me through so much and then about I want to say a year into our friendship she was getting married I was so excited and um, her fiance actually sent me a message and we started talking his name was Nick I don't remember his last name and we were talking and he was like oh my god I wish all three of us could hang out that'd be so awesome and like it seemed so like wow I have like friends and people there for me who really want to be there for me and like Nick became one of my best friends too and it was just like really awesome and then she posted pictures of her wedding when it happened and she was like I really wish you could have been like my bridesmaid you could have been my maid of honor I just really wish you were at my wedding and just everything and Nick totally agreed and like it really is amazing when you meet people whether it be in person or online who really care about you that is one of the best feelings in the world and then she's like this was like a year and a half in she goes so I want you to um, add my best friend Taylor and I was like best friend girl I remember this distinctively so it's kind of funny I was like I thought I was your best friend like I was totally only joking she's like you're my online best friend this is my in-person best friend I'm like oh, okay so I added her and we talked and we became friends and she was freaking awesome just like Nick and Shanae was I was like this is cool I'm part of the group like I don't know I was just so alone that I was like so like sucked into this that I was like yes I'm happy every day I smiled because of this and um so I saw pictures with all three of them together I saw pictures with just Taylor and Nick or Shanae and Nick or Shanae and Taylor like I saw all kinds of pictures like nowhere did it look fake I never got any feelings of it or anything so our friendship went on for almost two and a half years and then all, all of a sudden I think it was like three days went by and I was like I haven't heard from Shanae at all and then it was a week and then it was a month and then it was two months and I was like why haven't I heard from Nick why haven't I heard from Taylor why haven't I heard from these people like where are they what are... so I started like messaging them uh, via text message and nobody replied to me and it was really weird so then I went on to Facebook because we've oh I forgot to say this part <laughs> after about two and a half years our friendship became um, also on Facebook we met on MySpace but it became Facebook so I messaged I tried to search them on Facebook and I was like I just like popped in my head like I haven't seen any statuses from any of them like or anything like I didn't really go on Facebook at the beginning I didn't like it I actually only got a Facebook for Shanae which is really funny because she stopped going on MySpace and she's like actually I'm more of a Facebook girl so I was like fine I'll just get it for you like I really did not like it in the slightest and all of a sudden like none of them even had me on their Facebook and I was like oh my god what did I do I went into like this little depression like they were all gone like they dropped off the face of the earth I've like I had no idea what happened and stuff and so after I went through my morning stages of 
they were just gone. They didn't like me anymore. I figured they blocked me. I didn't know what I did. And I was already really, like, depressed, as I told you, like, before I met Shanae. And just while I was friends with them, like, it, it just made me feel better. So when they did that, it kind of put me back to square one. Like, I felt lonely again and depressed. Like, I had nobody. I had no friends to talk to or nothing. And I want to say around eight months after they completely dropped off the face of the earth, I get a random message from a random person. I didn't even know who this person was and I still don't even remember their name at all. And I know it was a girl. God, I wish I remembered her name, but I just don't remember. And she goes, do you remember Shanae? And I'm like, well, obviously I remember Shanae. Like she was Bay. she was like my best friend. And she goes, you know, she was fake, right? I'm like, no, she wasn't. Like, what? And she's like, yeah, she was faking to be this girl that I went to high school with. And I was like, no, she didn't. Like, Nick Taylor. Like, I was trying to explain to her, like, that she wasn't all fake. And she's like, yeah, that was all fake, too. Like, Nick's profile was fake. Taylor's profile was fake. It was all one girl. And I was like, no. Like, I talked to all three of them at the same time. Like, and she was like, did you ever talk to them on the phone? I was like, no. And then something clicked. I was like, oh? And she goes, that's why you haven't heard from her, I'm assuming. And I'm like, no, I actually haven't. And she goes, it's because she got caught. I literally was like, what? Then who is the real Shanae? Who is the fake Shanae? Who? And she was literally like, I can't tell you who um, the actual Shanae is, like the picture, because that's like not allowed, but I don't know who the fake one is. And I'm like, okay crickets I never heard from her again I don't know if that was her I don't know I don't I don't know anything I just remember her telling me like I'm trying to warn people like blah 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 my heart literally sank to the floor a lot of people get catfished like with relationship wise especially but I feel like being catfished in the way that I was hurts just as bad because I cried a lot. I did. Like, we had plans to meet and like, it, it, it literally broke my heart. And I, I wish more than anything I knew who did this and why because I honestly feel like I would still be there for this person. I would still talk to this person because she was a great person. I have watched a lot of the show Catfish on MTV, if you guys have ever seen that before. <sighs> One of my favorites, and even Max, are Bay. We all know this. And it's like, so many people do it because they feel alone or because they feel, like, unex not as accepted for who they are and stuff. And I really feel like that's what was happening. And so she faked to be someone else's life. And she did it really good because, like, she was faking three people's lives that knew each other and because there was Taylor, Nick, and Shanae the actual people they were all they did like the actual people I didn't I don't know who they were but they got married and they were um best friends and stuff and it's like I feel like she knew these people and I don't know it's just crazy and I feel like people need to really be careful online because you can get really hurt. I'm not saying you can't get hurt if the person was real or if they're fake or whatever. I just feel like people need to really be careful. And to catfish someone really hurts, like really bad. I'm sure it's happened to me several times, but this one just kind of like really affected me and I still can't get over it. And it's been like four years. I really can't get over it. I'm still shocked. I wish more than anything we were still friends, but that's just not how it is. And I feel like if she ever messaged me and she's like, you know what, this is Shanae Kingston, this is really me, let me explain to you, I feel like I'd forgive her for sure. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you my story that I was definitely catfished and she was a good actress, I will tell you so, but <laughs> I still hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have ever been catfished, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to know your story. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.